For the challenges that Peter Pan Mini Golf has faced regarding its future, historic landmark status might be the answer. Oh, a good shot, though. <laughs> the current owner, Margaret Desmukes Massad, says she's been in contact with several city officials for help renewing the lease. We have had some communication with the mayor of Austin, so we're hopeful going forward that, you know, the mayor will be able to throw his support behind it as well. The property that Peter Pan sits on was previously managed by the Texas Juvenile Justice Department, but is now being signed over to a new unknown trustee. Efforts to help preserve Peter Pan include a petition made by native Austinite Natalie Becker. I think people really actually care and want to do something to help, and I feel good that like I'm able to do that. The petition, with over 25,000 signatures, specifies that the city of Austin should declare Peter Pan a historic landmark, making it easier for the owners to renew their lease. The owners have the support of Ben Heimsath, the chairman of the Historic Landmark Committee, who says that preserving Peter Pan is a great example of keeping Austin weird. A hole in one! <laughs> there really aren't any other examples that you could point to that's a whole lot like what Peter Pan Golf means to, to, to Austin and Austin's families. While there has been no communication with the new trustee, the owners are hopeful that historic landmark status will give them security. We're just really hoping that we can keep it, not just for our family, but for the city of Austin. In Austin, Janelle Tanguma, Reporting Texas TV.